Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. I kind of felt like I was supposed to use the middle file for a second, but I know I'm not. It's crazy. Let us set up this random. Samson it is. I feel like I played Samson recently, but that's alright. I'll just play Samson again anyway. Samson's an alright dude nowadays. Here's the seed. And uh, Samson starts with normal stats, but uh, also... Well, he has one extra fire rate delay. Alright, apparently I don't have to fight this floor. Uh, we also have Bloody Lust, so when I get hit... I don't have to fight this floor. Okay, there we go. When I get hit, I gain damage for the duration of the floor. Uh, it stacks with itself up to six times. The first three are less damage, and the final one, or the final three, are a lot more damage. It is useful if you can afford to get hit, basically. Alright, no bombs. So I skipped Betrayal because Betrayal is really annoying. When you get hit, every enemy in the room gets charmed. But it plays an animation where a knife comes up onto the screen uh, to illustrate that fact, and it's just awful. Alright, so that was about all the hits that I'm willing to just take on purpose. After this point, I will attempt to not get hit. Why would you do that? That was just rude. Don't do that. I'm just trying to kill the last dude. Thank you. Why would you do this again? You haven't even spawned more than one dude. And you're just like, oh yeah, let me resurrect this guy for fun. Uh, so Ragman is legitimately what I would consider the worst boss in the game. By quite a wide margin. And it, all it has to do to be fixed is become a caves boss instead of a basement boss. It sucks. But, here we are. Oh man, it's gonna revive two. Today's the worst day. It's cool though. I wish I could get a bomb. Maybe I will from this boss. The item could be anything. Could even be a bomb. Oh, that works too, actually. Point four tears up and two soul hearts. I'm happy with that. Let's go. Okay. So I'm back down to the same to base damage. <clears throat> but we will be living. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat there. Apparently I've forgotten how to speak. Oh, I messed that up. That's fine though, I just needed some damage, that's all. So if that dude drops a pill, I need to try and make sure to be aware of it. Alright, nope. So I don't get to know if there's a one makes you large, larger pill. Much as I might like to know. I need that. Thanks, friend. That was very kind of you. I wish I had a black card out 100% use it. This room is very tedious. Alright, they're both one hit. My fire rate's good, though, thanks to uh, Squeezy. So that's nice. Alright, we in there. Oh, I thought it would die. Alright, that went alright. That was pretty quick. Uh, and of course I didn't get hit or anything. It's effective. Alright. Don't have a used item yet. And that's not really a used item that I'm going to end up wanting to use a battery for. So, I don't really have a used item yet. This is just uh, invincibility. Usable every room, but you can't shoot or anything and you don't do contact damage to enemies while it's active. So it's not the most useful uh, with the items I currently have, but maybe I'll get a cube of meat here and then it'll become really good. Because with a cube of meat it's a carry item. Especially with a uh, sacrificial dagger. Even more of a carry item. I don't have any bombs, man. Can't do anything with that. Uh, yeah, flatworm. 
makes my tiers wider so they're a little easier to hit with. So once again, I don't do any damage or anything when I use the invincibility, so it's not worth using. Because I'm not, like, so trapped that I am truly desperate or anything. Alright, range up. I'm kind of stuck with it, so that's fine. Do I care? Yeah, sure. I never end up taking the nail, and it gets me both tinted rocks on this floor. So the nail gives me a soul heart and 1.7 damage up. Uh, speed down by a small amount. Forgot exactly how much. There are two tinted rocks this floor, right? Huh. Maybe I was just thinking of the bombs that I totally do want anyway. Uh, and you crush rocks and do contact damage to enemies. Yeah, that's the nail. Six room charge, soul heart. Can't forget the soul heart, that's the important part of this item. Alright, so I'll just use it to grab the bombs. Generally I won't be using it for fighting, probably. I'll just use it to make sure that I can get everything that I want to uh, break rocks for. It's useful though. Alright. So we came out pretty well from that. Guess I'll go to the large room last. Uh, screw this. This is exactly a room I hate. Huh, glad I didn't, uh... God dang it. Glad I didn't run away, I was gonna say. And then I ran away from another one, because I was like, oh, I'm definitely not gonna kill it in time. That's the thing, I definitely am sometimes. By the way, the amount of damage you take has no bearing on how much damage you gain. So you want to only take half hearts if you can help it. Of course, sometimes you just can't, and that's okay. I don't have enough keys to open all of them. Alright, I don't want to look at you, stop it. Just don't try to spawn those enemies when I'm not that close to you, and everything's okay. Alright, I would like to kill these spitties. There we go. Everything worked out. This will perfectly get me the last charge. Alright. Everyone just keeps spawning right in front of me. Dang, not this time. Hello, friend. Alright, this time I'll use the damage offensively. Alright, we good. Of course, a lot of work for one soul heart gain when I've lost more than a soul heart, probably. Oh, dang it. Okay, we're good. I didn't think I'd be able to get that kill in time anymore. Luckily, I was able to. Forgot how I phrased it, so I didn't know which way made me sound not stupid. Oh, there it is. Didn't even wait for the... I was so sure I wouldn't get it. Anyway, Magic Mushroom is all stats up and includes a 1.5 damage multiplier. Very useful. Okay, so this is the Frail. <clears throat> it's just a two-phase pin. No problem. Oh, don't do that. Alright, well, little Steve's going to keep showing up. Kind of stuck. Okay, so Sacrificial Dagger, 15 damage per hit, very frequent hits, uh, blocks tears, it's good. And then Flight, and if I get something that modifies my speed, it'll be 8.3 speed up. Definitely worth it. And I actually have, like, good damage and whatnot now. My life is good. 
But yeah, little Steve isn't afraid to just show up a ton of times in your run, so you may as well just pick it up when it first shows up. So that you don't have to deal with it anymore. And then little Haunt uh, is a familiar. Kind of like the dead bird, except you don't have to get hit. It tracks stuff down and also has a chance to fear enemies when it uh, hits them. You know, it's alright. That's not what I was hoping for in my life. That much I can promise. Get me out of here. So just activating the nails should be enough to count as a speed modifier to get me my speed up. And I do feel faster, so it looks like that is correct. May as well take the stopwatch. That makes it so that when I get hit, all of the enemies and projectiles for the remainder of the room are slowed. Well, enemy projectiles, not my projectiles. They're slowed. But it is activated on hit now. It's no longer special because of that. And it does work for the Lost and you if you have the Holy Mantle, of course. So it's kind of still really good, but it is an on-hit effect. I have no idea where they are. Okay. Congrats. Oh, this wasn't the one that you actually have to dodge. It's the easy one. That's cool, though. Ah, oh, this will overcharge me. I should have thought about that. Stars is an item room teleport. Oops. Oh, yeah, and the music. The music gets slowed, too. Can't forget that. Okay, we cool. I may as well check. Oh, it's Curse of the Blind. Didn't even realize. Well, should have bought that first. Nah, didn't drop the pill. Wanted a one makes you small. Trying to make sure to, like, actually pay attention for that right now. Oops. Trying to use my gosh darn orbital. Evil range and shot speed up. It gives you a black heart. That's okay. Okay, so we found the item room. Not going to teleport to it. Holy light. Cool. I'll try to make boss rush. So, And I have cursed the blind, so how much do I want to continue being on this floor? So holy light is a chance, luck based, that I fire my... Um, I fire a tier that has light on it. If that light hits an enemy, it summons an area of effect beam of light. Has a pretty wide radius too. Uh, that totally wrecks enemies' days. Does three times my damage, and is a pretty cool guy. Nah, man. I'm not going to concern myself with pills. Pills aren't worth using. Yeah, no thanks. I'll pass on the uh, D100. Special item. Leo lets me always crush rocks. I don't really need it that bad. But Halo Fly sounds good. Two orbital flies block tears and they instantly kill flies, but they don't damage any enemies on contact. <clears throat> By the way, even though Holy Light is luck based, it caps at a 50% chance to fire a Holy Tier. So even if you get tons of luck, you'll never fire all Holy Tiers. But it also happens to essentially be the highest possible uh, damage tier effect because you still get the hit of the tier, and then you get the beam of light that does three times your damage. So it's like a four times multiplier. The next closest being uh, Tough Love with the 3.2. So it's uh, pretty darn good. I'm 
and I'm all for it as an item. So, like, it, it makes sense that you can't have all holy tears, but I still wish you could, just for, like, even if it took a really, really stupid amount of luck, I would, you know, I'd have to do it once. Instead, it caps at 50%, and I don't know when it caps exactly. But it would be fun. It would be very fun. Glad I saved this activation. Sure, I'll take a health up. Kind of figured it'd be Krampus, though. Just kind of let that happen. Lump of Coal increases the size and damage of my tiers based on the distance they've traveled. It is good. So one reason to make boss rush is that I have this uh, item room teleport. Which means that I can get out of boss rush, steal an item. How did you snipe me like that? That was incredible. I'm not even mad, I'm just impressed. That was insane. It's cool though. I love not having to fight an extra cycle of them. Gotta work on not getting hit as much right now. Or grab some black hearts out of this, if I'm lucky. Yeah, one is good. Something, at least. Power certainly isn't. That's okay. May as well. It's pretty free. So I am very unlikely to be getting hit by tears, by the way. Since I have three orbitals. Oh, heck yeah, I want the parasite. Parasite makes it so that my tears, when they hit enemies or walls or obstacles or whatever, they split into two tears traveling perpendicular to the initial tier path. Which, in certain specific scenarios, can uh, also hit enemies. Uh, yeah, I want Incubus. Incubus fires my tiers, my fire rate. It has all my tier effects and stuff. It's really good at my damage, of course. Alright, you got me. I'll take it. That is a 50% chance to revive at half a heart if I die. Hmm. I'll take money equals power. I'll also fight for it just because I get the activations, but... <clears throat> this is for every cent that I have. I get a... Oh, that's my little hunt. I get a .04 damage up, capping at 99 cents. So, as you can see with the Parasite, the Holy Tears do split uh, into Holy Tears. But yeah, certain situations you can get the split tiers to also hit the enemy. Uh, they do a quarter of your damage. They are pretty good dudes. So namely, the easiest situation to get the split tiers to hit and like continue splitting and hitting. You don't get consecutive damage ups for Sack and Nail, by the way, just the Soul Hearts. Uh, nor do you get the speed downs. Anyway, you want them to be right up against the wall so that the tiers will split, hit the wall, and then split again and go perpendicular again. But some enemies have hitboxes shaped in such a way that you can actually just aim at the side of their hitbox and hit them. Uh, that is also an option, sometimes. But I don't tend to count on that one, because that's not usually the case. There aren't that many enemies like that. Huh, I got gurglings and turdlings. Cool. Haven't had that before. Hello. So of course right now, I'm fighting this both for soul hearts, but also for the fact that I get another item at the end of it. Had to just murder Ragman. Ragman sucks. A big smelly noob scrub. <clears throat> of course since I've been hit once and the uh, stopwatch is active, it's like really easy. Uh, 
So Gertie is actually one of the bosses that you can uh, hit with the split. Positioning's not that specific either. Would recommend out of 10, basically. So since tower effects tend to still spawn the bombs in the very middle of the room, you actually don't have to do very much work to dodge them in a large room like this. <clears throat> well, friend ball is not uh, an item that I intend to replace my current item with. Because continuous soul heart generation is good stuff. Alright. Figured I'd try to teleport to the boss. Save a little bit of time here. I'll probably fight Hush, because why not? Really no reason not to. Oh, the reason not to is my key count. I need a lot more keys in my life. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that guy's going to shoot in all four directions. Don't do it. Then I did it anyway. I need a lot more keys than I have, like, right now. Help me, video game. Give me the strength and the keys. You know, maybe I have the strength. Let's be real. I just need the keys. I don't like this room much usually, but that time it went fine. It's my secret room, I guess. Three keys. That is not three keys. <clears throat> By the way, there's no reason to be using my active item at this point. Since I don't need health and I don't need damage, I'm only going to use it for health, pretty much. And it's unlikely that I would have gotten more use out of the friend ball. So I may as well take the safety. Ah, uh, it wasn't worth I was like, ah, I'll just get some extra keys out of this. It'll be great. So since I'm terrible at picking the right direction, I'm just kind of resigned to my fate. And I'm just going to let it happen down here. I haven't even gotten that much, well, I haven't really gotten any luck up. I'm just getting really lucky with Holy Light, since I have twice as many tiers. Which is okay by me. Okay. Cool. Well, that's what you get when you let your heart win. Do I want a lot of red chests? Not really. Like, I don't need to make Guppy quite powerful enough without. Yeah, screw it. Just resign to the fate of the full clear. Can get more money. Can get more keys. Why not? Okay. Gotta love those split tiers. Except when you miss with them. Well, the holy tiers are the ones you miss with. Alright, Fallen gives me a guaranteed double room item. Hopefully a good one. Multi-dimensional baby, so that follows my movements on a three second delay. When a tier goes through it, it uh, becomes doubled and also refreshed in range. Pretty good. Oh, hello. You popped up right behind me. That wasn't very nice of you. Oops. I don't know why I ran into that dude. Not really a good excuse for that one. Sorry, I'm just eating rocks because I'm hungry. Alright, well, that's interesting. 
Should he pick this up first? I'm not going to keep it, though. I don't care that much about the damage up from my Kid Jigger. Money equals power. I only have three keys, man. I need seven for Hush. You considered that fact, video game? I need seven to open everything. You're not, you're not even trying. I can see this. I know when you're trying. It's very obvious when you're making a concerted effort to be helpful. I'm just going to say that's going to miss. That's not what I need. Alright. <clears throat> I don't have to do much worrying about getting hit by tears. So that's good. Yeah, I mean, I'll take this. Gets me two of whatever drops I get for the ends of rooms. Which is good. All right, so I'll open one chest. Gave me a key, so I'll open another. Gave me two keys, so I'll open yet another. Fate's Reward shoots my tears, but at its own fire rate. It has any tier effects that I would have that don't, um, that don't change your tears from tears. Nails, 1.5 damage up, uh, and larger knockback. And nail tears, of course, and the small rock, which is one. Well, I would take tech X, but I really like the uh, split tier business I got going on. So I'm just going to take chemical peel for two damage up from every other tier. This uh, doubles my use items active effect, so I'll get two uh, soul hearts from activating the nail now. Anyway, small rock, one damage up. If I get something that modifies my tiers, 0.2 tiers up. If I get something that modifies my speed, 0.2 speed down. Well, this is a nice machine, taking all my money. So this would take a key if I had one, but I don't. So like I said, Tech X would absolutely melt Hush. It's really, really good for this fight. It often breaks the damage scaling somehow or other. But that's all right. I don't need to uh, break damage scaling to have a good fight here, especially in the very start where Hush is right against the wall. Been hit with a lot of tears, possibly break the scaling anyway. See, look at how good the damage output is sometimes there. So with the slowed tiers, my life should become pretty easy. Holy nails, man. They look kind of dumb. I didn't think that would actually hit me. So I just didn't dodge it uh, fully. I only dodged to the very edge of it. I mean, that wasn't there we go, but it worked. Oh, this attack. I like this attack, but it's hard. The one where they all curve in. But it also doesn't matter because Hush can't really get to me. Yeah. Sorry, just trying to get all my tears doubled there with that movement. Gonna say, yeah, I'm just gonna let this attack hit me if it wants to. I didn't think that one would. A little silly. No, I wanna be here. Getting 
right in the corner there. Nice quick death. So now I really need some good luck. I need to get carried with key drops because I do have the contract from below now. Alright, well I don't need that. Don't need it even one bit. I don't want this. Gonna hold drop key, which is default left control. See, look, key carry already. So I'll probably go back and full clear this if I don't end up with four keys. Oh yeah, 0.08 damage, man. But of course, because I plan on full clearing, I'm going to find the correct path first try. All right. Ha! It changed its mind because it gave me the keys. You know that's how it worked, right? That is what happened. But it's okay, because I still kind of expect to full clear. And I kind of plan it. Screw it. Eh, luck up. It's like my second luck up. Clearly I'm already there. All holy light tears all the time. So remember, I have the car battery and do have double use item effect. Great. Let's see, look at this. Gonna keep going. Well, just down here. I won't go all the way back up and around. Because screw that. I got enough keys for now. It's not like I'm very likely to get more chests in the chest. I don't have Guppy's Tail or anything. So we good. Murder this noob. See? Easy. Got him in the corner and... Uh, parasite murdered. Good. Alright, what do you got? Purity. Oh, man. Oh, man. D6. D6 is a little less good since I do have the double use item effect, but, like, what do I care? I'll continue to reroll extra things. I need to get hit real quick because I need to acquire the blue aura from Purity, which is minus four fire rate delay. God dang it. I'm just going to use these. So yes, I am currently rerolling two items every time I reroll. Uh, and I don't get to see what the one item, the first item that rerolls to is. So I could have already skipped some really great stuff. Guillotine, one damage up, minus one fire rate delay. Uh, hello, I need you to damage me real quick. Uh, it's real good. It's 0.3 damage up. And a chance that my tears can cuss enemies, which causes them to do dumb stuff. Uh, the red aura is four damage up, which is good, but not as good as four fire rate delay most of the time. So of course I'm going to continue taking one hit per room until I get the proper aura, which so far isn't happening, and I need it to. You really gonna do this to me? Heh, <laughs> couldn't even get hit if I wanted to there. And I did. What do you got now? Not very good, so I don't care. Alright. Of course, I'm also activating, uh. I just got to the last damage up from Bloody Lust. That's pretty sweet. 
Thank you for the health. I needed that, since apparently I can't get to uh, Blue Aura no matter what. Why is this so difficult? All I had to do was bomb myself that made it happen. So now I don't want to get hit again. That's pretty easy not to do at this point, so that should be fine. Hope you enjoy your knockback. Every time I enter a new room, <clears throat> enemies take two times my damage through poison. And it also makes it so that uh, when I kill enemies, they should leave the toxic stuff on the ground. This will get me two soul hearts, so why not? Probably should go back for that battery. Oh well. Even a quarter of my damage is a ton of damage right now. It's pretty sweet. Yep. Three more uh, cents, and every time I get hit, I drop money that I didn't already have. It's pretty unlikely that I hit uh, 99 cents at this point, though. Like, I don't even know how they die sometimes, but they do. It's pretty sweet. I can make use of their deaths for happiness. Tractor beam. Yeah, absolutely. Really good with uh, Parasite, because the Parasite split tiers from my tiers, at the very least, will stay in the beam. This will, like, stupidly increase my... My actual damage output. Blue Baby will last about one second, if that. Just be ready for that. Pretty sweet run. Pretty sweet run. Ugh. That was good. Samson's an alright dude. That's going to do it for today as well. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.